A group of businesses in Stroud say they need to work together to ensure women and girls feel safe in the town. It comes after a series of sexual assaults in the area over the summer, including two rapes. Campaigners are warning many don't feel safe, particularly at night. Our reporter Louisa Britton has been speaking to those behind the scheme. It was after her daughter had to take refuge in her craft shop that Chrissy decided to set up safe spaces in Stroud. It's an initiative she says is already having an impact. My daughter was followed from Strat Park. Um, it was really concerning. She was very distressed. They were trying to engage her, so she broke away and come to my shop. So that was when I was like, I really need to get this rolled out. Strangers have actually come in and hugged me to say thank you for doing this. So I think the Stroud community are very worried and concerned about their safety at the moment. You get that for your window? A bargain. Yeah, that's, that's the most important bit. It is. Just it to is. let people know it's here. More than 30 businesses are now taking part. Pam's pub is just one of them. You always think it, it won't happen here. You hear it on the telly and you see it. and um, and then, But when it hits this close to home, it makes people sit up and think, you know, we do need to do something. And I think this will go a long way um, to not solve it, but it will give people somewhere to go. The subscription rooms, which are now a music venue, have recently signed up to the scheme and may be one of the town's grander safe spaces. You can come straight in here, there's box office staff, there's security staff, there's duty managers, there's all sorts of people who can be of help. We've done it before in the old days, um, looked after people who may have been injured or whatever. Um, I, I see it as part of our community role and I'm, I'm proud we're involved. According to the latest figures from Gloucestershire Police, Violence and sexual offences are by far the most commonly reported crimes in Stroud, sparking concerns the area isn't safe for women and girls. We look at stats, we look at comparisons to other areas, but when somebody has been affected by a crime, it doesn't matter what all the numbers say, it's absolutely devastating. So what I think is really important, and the feedback I've had from local people, is to have those visible clues and cues to show that there is activity. So things like the signs in the shops to say this is this safe space. Well, it's not just pubs and shops in town that this campaign is hoping to make safer for women and girls in Stroud. It's also reclaiming other spaces, such as this tunnel where someone was sexually assaulted. And they're doing so by creating artwork and also painting it white so that it's much less intimidating to walk through. So this is the second location of a rape. There's been two in Stroud along with other um, exposures along the canal path. This was very dark and horrid place. It was covered in a lot of um, foliage and we cut it back, cleaned it up and painted it to make it look a lot nicer. A number of these pink stickers have now been put up in Stroud. For those behind the campaign, a symbol of a community showing solidarity. Louisa Britton, ITV News.